this is a baseline. Just going through the gears here. This is the data that was collected during the baseline run, and uh, really column E is the raw data. And if you take a look at the data, there are a lot of observations. In fact, there's several of them, um, about up to 800 observations here. And uh, if you plot this initial data, you'll find that it is very noisy. And to kind of get rid of some of the noise in the data to make it so that you can actually see discernible traces, I've taken the 10-point moving average of the data. And so all this does is it takes, you know, in this case, uh, it takes an average of, of E4 to uh, E13. The next cell is uh, E5 through uh, E14 and so forth. So it just takes the rolling average of all the data. And so this can sort of smooths it out a little bit more so that you can actually see discernible traces in, in the data. I could just as easily have done the raw data, but uh, I, I want to make it uh, more discernible in terms of being able to see what the, what the raw data is actually saying to me. And if you take a look at this data and plot it on out, the, the x-axis is the observation number, and the y-axis is the measured uh, decibels. And there are um, somewhere right along the area of, of uh, again, uh, 800 observations. And if we take a look here, we can actually see discernible traces when we're actually going through the shifting. And so we're starting off in second gear. Uh, first gear is really a low gear. You don't use it at all in the truck unless you're just pulling something for that matter. So we're going up the, the uh, second gear, coming up with the shift point, and we can shift on down to going into third gear, and then a fourth gear, and, and, and then so forth. And uh, you can definitely see in, in the in cabin uh, engine noise starting off at 80 dB or practically going all the way up to 90 dB. So there's a direct relationship here on the amount of noise that's actually coming from the engine compartment into the cab. And then we get to a point about 400 here to observation 800. We're going to look at this data exclusively and we're going to refer to this as steady state uh, decibel data. And at this point, you're actually running right around 55 to 60 miles an hour down the road. And uh, for the most part, it's a pretty, pretty uh, uh, steady state. One factor I can't take out of this data is the road noise. The road is actually kind of a, even though it's, a, it's an asphalt road, uh, you do hear some noise from the tires um, just because it is, uh, I don't know, very granular. The, the, the pavement is not uh, uh, as quiet as, as uh you know, if I were to take it on a newly asphalted uh, road. But nonetheless, you can at least see that it, 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 there's a great contribution here of, an, of the engine noise, and that's getting transmitted inside the cabin. And if we take a look at just this point from observation 400 to 700 and take the average of that, we're getting something on the order of about 86 dB. So if I zoom in on this, you know, we're getting about 86 dBs on this point from 400 to 700. Uh, so this is our goal. We're going to try to reduce the, uh, the in-cabin noise to something here after. I don't know what it is going to be after. We'll find, take the measurement in the same way that we did in, in the before case, and then we'll get our delta here. So that uh, pretty much summarizes at least the baseline state here before uh, you know we commit, commit or at least start the project and, and uh, commence with it. Well, today I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, actually do some sound insulation on the truck. So I'm going to rip out the entire interior on it. Um, I got a crew cab here, of course. Now I got some gauges here I'm going to install. Um, that's another project in itself. I'll probably put a different video for that. Um, so uh, really I'm taking all the seats, all the carpeting. The, I'm going to take the headlighter down. 
Really, in order to get the headliner out, you really have to go through the back window, so I'm not going to actually remove the entire headliner from the truck, but uh, I'm going to, again, tear everything on out, and I'm going to do some sound insulation. So what sort of uh, insulated material am I going to use? Well, here, I'll take a, I'll show that in just a moment. Well, the type of sound insulating material I'm going to use is really two different parts. One is the sound deadening. And this is sort of like the Dynomad. Uh, if you do some looking around, uh, you'll find that a lot of people are happy with second skin. Um, this is this is just the second skin basic. I think they have a little bit more of a premium. It, it still has, you can't tell it, but there's actually an aluminum foil on one side and then an adhesive back on the other. So I'm going to put this right around the, the engine firewall area as much as I can uh, where a lot of the source of the, the noise or vibration actually comes from with the with the 7.3 turbo diesel. And then uh, on top of that, in some other areas around the door panels, I'm going to use something, a product that's uh, from uh, another company. This is Ram Mat, but uh, they actually have a product called Insulite. And it's adhesive back on one side, and then it's got the sound insulation material on the other. So there's only two parts of this. I'm going to do the sound deadening, or the right around the, the firewall area. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some sound insulation material on other areas. Uh, I'm going to try to do as much as I can with, with what I have here. This is, I think, like, um, I can't remember. I think this is something on order like 40 or 50 square feet. And uh, this is like 40, like 35 or 36 square feet. This is like 100 and some $130. And I think this was like almost $100 too. Now, if that wasn't enough, if you look around on the net, you'll actually find that uh, some people have been taking material right out of uh, salvage yards and doing that as a part of their sound insulation material. And so what I've done is the, is the same thing. Um, this, by the way, is out of a Crown Vic, and, and you'll find people talk about Crown Vics as, as good sources of a sound insulation material. And on one side, they'll have, of course, the fabric, and then they got the foam on the back, and it's thick foam. It's uh, got some, some material to it. And this goes actually on the uh, back seat. So the back seat, uh, this is on the, below the seat right here, and this is on, on the behind the, 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 the back part of the seat. So and it goes all the way up to the speaker holes. And on the other side, you have a good vinyl uh, mat to it. So I'm gonna be cutting this stuff on up and using this as well on, as a part of the project. Um, so I'm gonna uh, hope to place all this sound insulation material someplace in there. I've got a rather few sheets here. I think at the salvage yard, I paid something like $25 for this. So I'm hoping that between the, you know, the this material, the sound insulation material, the second skin material, and the insulite over there that um, hopefully I'll have everything that I need.